Good morning. <laughs> I was uh, I was reading the word this morning, uh, working on uh, that website, my experiment site, and uh, I want to add a page uh, of application of kind of like life, uh, lust, envy, covetousness, and how we can identify those things in ourselves as we progress through life and try to bring those under control. A lot of times when we see an item that we want or um, somebody has a really great marriage and we're like, boy, I wish we could have that marriage. And uh, instead of looking at yourself and saying, well, we can have that marriage, we need to apply ourselves to the Word of God. Or if you see an item that somebody has in their hand and they're using it and it's like a pretty neat thing to have and you're looking at, boy, I'd really like to have one of those, and envy starts kind of coming up. You start feeling a little jealous that person's got that, and you really can't go out and get it. And so you start wanting a promotion at work so that you can afford something like that. And I don't want the camera to fall. <laughs> the wind's blowing it. Um, you really can't afford something like that. So you, you start wanting a promotion. You see somebody else get a promotion at work. Uh, ahead of you that's been there maybe less time than you and you're like uh, wow that person got a promotion I need a promotion so I can get that thing that I really want that that other person had so now your whole life is built on envy and jealousy and you're starting to covet things and now you're so desperate to get those things that you're willing to start backbiting and connive your way into positions that really you know, somebody else is more qualified for just so you can maybe get a pay increase, just so you can afford that thing that you saw Joe Schmo have in his hand, or uh, the marriage that he has. You figure maybe if I had a better job, I could get a better spouse. It's like the spouse you have is one part of the wing of life, and you're supposed to be the other part of the wing of life, so that you guys can fly through life together as as a team. Um, lust, envy, and covetousness are three of the main things that I see going on in this world around us. It's what the devil tries to come against us with, tries to get us coveting something so much that we will literally come into bondage just to get that thing that our heart desires. And... Um, that's what Jesus says. He says, you'll know a tree by its fruit. Um, do grapes bear thorns or fig trees bear um, thistles? And, and no, they don't. The things of God come freely without enslaving you into um, anything. But the things of the world usually come with thorns and thistles that latch on and say, okay, if you want this kind of life, then you have to do these kind of things for us. And now you're bound by the world. You're not free in Christ. Anything I've decided to do personally for the Lord, the Lord has empowered me to be able to do it. And uh, I was ensnared to any human beings around. Uh, it was me and the Lord. Remember, the Lord called Abraham all by himself and called him out and made a nation of him. The Lord will call and empower you. There's no reason to envy, lust, or covet anything that people have. The Lord is sufficient to supply you with whatever you're going to need. So, I'm going to do that today on my, uh, on my experiment site. It's stephenha.fatcow.com <laughs> I think of uh, Joshua and the dream with the thin cows and the, and the fat cows where there'll be seven years of plenty and then seven years of famine. Right now this fat cow website uh, is revealing that it's... Right now we're in plentiful times. But the more desperate Satan gets to, to gather people to himself, the harder things are going to get. And we want to make sure we're rooted in the Lord Jesus Christ and His influence so that we can glorify God and what He's doing here in this world. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on uh, the website today. and We're going to look at lost, envy, and covetousness. Um, 
my wife and son, I love you, baby. It's another day. It's almost another year passing by. Uh, little man, have a great day in school. And Daddy's thinking about you both. I love you so much. And I won't keep rambling, honey. <laughs> Bye.